Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. So today I am, we are going to be starting here um, looking at some of the spelling of the present progressive and the uh, simple present tenses. So we'll just kind of add some stuff in here. We'll do this together. So um, behind me, I have 20 pretty common um, English verbs. Okay. Um, and I chose some very specifically so that we could kind of have some conversations about what's going on here. So I've got the base or the main verb here in blue. Remember when we're forming the simple present tense, we are simply adding a an s on the end of the of the word and in some cases we add an es okay so let's just kind of make notes here so you're going to add s or es and now remember the rules about adding es and which endings um you'll use es instead of just s so you can write these down on your piece of paper at home i always encourage students to have paper and a pencil, right? That's just kind of general practice of learning another language or learning anything is to take notes, okay? If that works for you. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with the word begin, okay? Begin, those two, begins. Okay, simple, just add the S. Come, comes, now, this one is a little bit irregular, so it's not just a simple S. We're going to put ES on the end. And the pronunciation is does. Okay, so it's not do's, it's does. All right, I'm going to put that over here. This is our pronunciation. Uh, does, does. Okay, get. We'll change to gets. Go. What do you guys think with go? It's just like this one. However, the spelling is different. So it's not, it's, this is does, uh, uh, oh, oh. So then this, the pronunciation of this one is G-O-W-Z, goes, goes, okay. Have, this one actually changes, doesn't it? Ooh, okay. We're gonna say has, right? We don't say haves, she has. She has a sore throat. She has a green car, okay? Live changes to lives, okay? Look changes to looks. This is, remember it's just in the third person, okay? Meet simply is meets, plan, plans. Now, remember what we talked about with the pronunciation of these final S's. Listen to the difference. Meets, it's an S sound, okay? So the pronunciation there is S on the final sound. Now listen to this one. Plans, plans. You can feel the vibration here. The pronunciation of that final sound is a Z, okay? All right. So try to practice those. Okay, play, our simple present is plays, read, reads, okay? Run, runs, say, says. Okay, so it's not says, it's says. So you're gonna pronounce that like S, Eh. This is the eh sound, that short e, okay? Says, even though it looks like it says says. So that's the tricky thing with English, right? Is the pronunciation and the spelling. That's why I talk a lot about that in, this, in these classes, okay? Okay, let's finish up these final six here. Speak goes to speaks, very simple. Watch is a little different. What are we gonna do here, guys? It ends with that CH, right? And so we're going to use ES, watches, watches, okay? Look, looks, see, sees, hear. These are all simple, no changes. 
no exceptions. Okay. Now I used this section here and down because I wanted to have a quick conversation about these words. Sometimes people confuse these words. So say, speak. They're the same action, right? It's to talk. It's another verb. So talk, speak, say, okay? Watch, look. Here's another one for see, look and see, okay? And then hear and listen, okay? So kind of thinking about those words and how we use them differently, okay? Think about that for a second. Okay, let's go back up here, guys. Let's look at the present progressive spellings, the present progressive tense. So we're going to put PP, this one here. Remember with one of our rules, we had one of the rules involved this CVC structure. So we have a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. And when we use the ING form, we're going to double that final consonant. Okay. That's the general rule. Okay. So um, then when we have a word like begin, it has more than the, the consonant, vowel, consonant, but it ends with that um, pattern. Okay. So begin goes to beginning. So a double N. Okay. And then there's another rule. So we've got, this is the CVC rule. And then we've got also a rule about the final silent E. Okay, so comes, or excuse me, come goes to, oops, coming. So you drop that E and you add ING. Okay, that's the rule. Do and go, these are just kind of generally, they're an exception. So you just kind of, you really just have to remember it. That's the thing with these. Okay, so do goes to doing. Okay, this one is the weird one. <laughs> Get. What do you guys think? Get follows that CVC rule. So we're going to say getting, G-E-T-T-I-N-G. -T -T okay, good. Go goes to going. Have. This is one of those non-action verbs. Okay. Um, it's a non-action verb. So we can say she is having a good time. She is having fun, okay? We would not say she is having a new car, right? We would say she has a new car. So that falls under. So it kind of depends on the usage of this word if we use the ing form or not. So in have is a verb that represents many different actions, right? And, and actually we could, I could do an entire class just on the verb have, but just keep in mind that you can say I'm having a good time because um, then the verb is to have a good time. But if you're talking about owning something or possession, then you would not say this. You would not say I am having new shoes, right? You would just say I have new shoes. Okay. So that's Sometimes it is a non-action verb and sometimes it is not. All right. Okay, live is living. So he is living in his car. <laughs> or This is also kind of a non-action verb, meaning that you could say he lives in his car or he is living in his car and the meaning is the same, okay? Living so again, we dropped that final E and added I-N-G. Okay, looking simple. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get out of the way so you guys can see this. Meeting is there. And then planning. Notice what's happening with that one. So it's the C, V, C at the end. And then you, so therefore you double it. So it doesn't matter that there's another consonant in the beginning we just go c v c is at the end so we do the we use that rule okay good job okay let's keep going play is playing um read is reading 
Super simple. This is a CVC. So we're going to do running with two N's. Saying. Okay, speaking. Watching. Let's see if I can move out of your way here so you guys can see. Watching. Um, looking. Nothing special in these. Seeing. Um, hearing. And finally, listening.